So welcome back once again students and today we will be doing the continued part of the paper. So as per you remember right in my last video I have been discussing about section C. So we discussed all the 10, 11 questions which were corresponding to section C. So now we will be doing both the two sections D and E continuously all together in one go. So since section number D is just one single question and uh, which is question number 23. So let me directly move on to this particular question. Okay. So this question is you know kind of value based. It's, it's, a, it's an open ended question. So what you think I want you to tell everything that you know about that particular thing in the paper. Okay. So let me just read out the question for you. And the question says that the chelating ligands form a cyclic structure on the coordination to the metal line. You know right what are chelates. So chelates are these are the ligands which have like more than one binding site or more than two binding sites. For example, if this is the pen there in my hand right and I have to pick up the pen. I cannot pick it up with one particular finger. I need to bring two fingers and then I have to. So I'm chelating the pen and taking it up, right? So two of the portions I'm using in order to pick it up. And if I use the complete all the fingers, so this is uh, more strongly I can grip the uh, metal line, right? So here according to the question, it says that the chelating ligands form a kind of cyclic structure on their coordination to the metal line. And EDTA is one such ligand. The use of such reactions involving chelation are being widely used in the chelation therapy. Now the question is you need to answer the following questions and the very first question is what is the full form of EDTA and what is its denticity? So you know right EDTA is nothing but ethylene diamine tetra acetic acid or tetra acetate right so it is ethylene diamine tetra acetic acid so if i uh, if you want me to draw the structure then this is ethylene is there and diamine is there and then tetra acetic acid so i'll draw the structure like so this was ethylene now I'm, I want to draw diamine ethylene, so which will be CH2, CH2 uh -uh. and then we have one N. So this is ethylene diamine, right? This is EN only, but now I have to put tetraacetic acid. So four acetic acids are there, CH2, CH2, N. This is so CH3 COOH, so this is CH2 COOH, CH2 COOH. Similarly here CH2 COOH and CH2 COOH, right? So since it has to act as a chelating ligand, so let us say, so all the H are being lost. So we are forming tetraacetate. Instead of tetraacetic acid, I am forming a tetra acetate ion. So when I will be forming tetra acetate then even a negative will come here and another negative will come here. So now you can count how many chelating sites will be there available. So this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. Now this nitrogen is there which will act as a fifth chelating site and uh, 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 I have done something wrong. Let me just rewrite the structure. So 1N has to be here and then CH2, CH2. So this mistake I have been doing all the time. So, so how many are there? So fifth and then one is six. So six uh, chelating sites are there. So the denticity will be, will be six or you can also call it to be hexadentate. Okay, now moving back to the question. So further the question says, as a student of chemistry, 
what do you understand by the term chelation therapy so since you would have come across this word chelation therapy even in the question i have uh, written here that these chelating agents are very widely used in chelation therapy so what is chelation therapy uh, i'll give you an example suppose there is some heavy metal uh, which is present in my body so there is some heavy metal poisoning which has occurred in my body maybe because of lead maybe because of mercury and I want to take it out right so what I'll do I'll insert I'll put in some chelating agents for example one very common chelating agent that you will be putting in th into the body in medical uh, field is BAL right so you put it into the body and it will capture it will form a chelate it will form a ring like structure around the central metal ion may it be mercury may it be lead and it can be or arsenic poisoning is also treated with BAL and it can be taken away okay so this is what is chelation therapy when you will be introducing a chelate uh, using the medical stream right so uh, using the medical sciences when you will be introducing a chelate into the body so as to capture a heavy metal which can be extracted out of the body so the complete science according to that will be known as chelation therapy okay and the example we have done is uh, BAL is used for treatment of arsenic poisoning